everybody, and welcome to another edition of Nick and Narf, Two Brothers in Tucson, bringing you music from the 60s, 70s, 80s, and beyond, both ways. And today we threw a curveball because it's not two brothers, it's three brothers. We have a special guest today, our brother Orlando, but we actually call him Lando because we want to. So He's... here he is, from all the way from St. James, Missouri, Orlando Furioso. Give him a hello, shout out. Hello? <laughs> How are you? <laughs> yeah, while he's here over the Christmas holidays, we got a chance to finally get him to do a recording with us, and we're excited because we're going to do two videos. So you're going to see him in two videos, today's video and our next one. And what are we doing today? We are doing... Fine Young Cannibals. Fine Young Cannibals. That's right. FYC, the group that was formed in 1984 in England with lead singer David Steele and his distinctive voice. Uh, they, re they only made two albums, uh, two studio albums. They had a few compilations, and they broke up in 1992. But they, uh, yeah, they had some other members of some other groups, and they had two big, big hits, both of which we're going to play for you today. Exciting songs, and Orlando turned me on to these back in the mid 80s because Lana was our music source for all things new wave. Uh, he fought, he directed me to um, oh, is that his name? Roland Gift? I thought his name was David Yo, Steele. David, oh, I got David it wrong. Steele is the oh, I goofed up. Roland Gift. Okay, what was pretty cool about this is I that screwed up. I, I was, apologize. I was looking up their a little bit of their stuff on Wikipedia and they had they had a name of a group that they were in called A K Y R Y L Y K, and I'm going acrylic. Londo goes acrylic. <laughs> oh yeah, that's what it is. So there you go. But we had Londo select these these two videos we're going to be doing. So he picked Fine Young Cannibals to do, and we're going to have a great time playing their two big songs. She drives me crazy and uh, good thing. So we're going to get into it. But before we do, we'd like to invite you, as always, to subscribe, like, and share if you have not. And if you have, we sure appreciate your subscribing and being a part of the tribe. And we thank you so much. Obviously, it's going to be an out-of-control show today with my two <laughs> brothers going absolutely cuckoo for me. But we're going to have a great time. So, without further ado, are you ready to kick it off, Lando? Yes, the old, fine orphans are ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> so, here we go. From 1985, here it is. Good, uh, she drives me crazy. Use your air guitar, people. It is a great intro. Yeah. 
Actually, a song about their wives. That's crazy. But in a good way. All right. What, year, what, what did you guys was, think? What year was this? 85. From and he's a, the coast. he's British, right? The guy yeah, born sing. in Britain. Sound All like he could have been from you know uh, <laughs> somewhere in the south. Yeah, or even you know, Detroit or Philly or any place, yeah. you know, South Philly, so South give me, Detroit. Give me your feedback, Lana. What was it that excited you about Fine Young Cannibals when you first heard him? It was cheap to listen to it on the radio. <laughs> that makes it very easy. No, it was just fun to dance to. We just a lot of going out and going to nightclubs in L.A. When I was young and just fun to go dance around, lose weight, <laughs> <laughs> do drugs. Oh, no. We didn't do drugs. Don't do drugs. <laughs> <laughs> this is your My Nun Drugs. <laughs> oh, we had a good time. It really has yeah. a, a, a catchy intro. I... I wasn't listening to that this style of music too much in the no. 80s. So it, I, I really found it to be quite catchy. Because Nick was stoned out of his mind and he didn't know who he was. <laughs> what's, you my, know, what's my name again? Uh, you know, I'm, as time moves on, I really admire the 80s music more and more. Just the range and styles of stuff we listen to, you know? And uh, here's a toast to all of you. Happy New Year, Happy by New the way. Year. This God is our bless. first video of the New Year. Salud. God bless each God and bless. every one of us. <laughs> <laughs> Happy New Year. Okay. Anyway, what did you guys think of? She drives me crazy. Leave us some comments. Anybody see him in concert? Yeah, did you guys uh, see him? I never saw him in concert. I've seen a couple a of videos no. on TV, like at some of these Rewind festivals, 80s Rewind. I've seen him perform at that, yeah. but that's about it. Okay, we're going to get into the second big hit wow. from the album, The Raw and the Cooked. It's their other big hits called Good Thing. Here we go. Singer. Oh yeah, he does all these things.
So okay. give us your feedback on this one, Lon. I give it a seven, Frank. <laughs> Out of how many? 212. <laughs> that Actually, rocks yeah. it at the bottom. I got a few things to say about this one. Go ahead, Nick. So this one, I, I heard a, a, a lot of Motown influence in it. I also heard yeah. kind of heard Stray Cats in there a little yeah. bit. Uh, were they at the same yeah. time? Yeah, right around yes. the same time. Okay. Stray uh, Cats from Maryland. The only negative I have, and it's kind of hard to play, it, is the drums. I would have liked to see them get a little crazier, yeah, but what else electronic. can you do to well, that they beat? They sounded more like... It's just don't. I think it's because it was. It's the beat, you know. It's kind of hard to play. Let's 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 face it. This is dance music, okay? It it isn't necessarily like sit at home, really enjoy the song for its musical variety, and you know. But it's still a terrific, catchy, engaging song. You know, and he's got. Believe it or not, almost a Mick Jagger sound to him at times. You know, where he kind of goes, nah, Yeah, speaking nah, of Mick nah, Jagger, nah, nah. we were trying to figure out what song it kind of reminded us. It really reminded me of the Stone song, uh, uh, Everybody needs somebody to love. Very similar to that. But this one really has a catchy tune. But what did you guys think? Uh, Fine Young Cannibals and Good Thing. So is this a number one song? Uh, I'm not sure which of the both were big hits. She drives me crazy. It was probably the bigger hit. Yeah. Go ahead, Lon, look at Lon, look it up and find out which I, one it was. Uh, I think they I were. I mean, I like both of the songs. That first one though was so creative. I I just thought it was. So I I and I can't understand why they only made two albums. I don't either. I don't know if there were issues between the members or uh, he wanted to go a different direction. That you know, it breaks up people a lot too. Apparently, Roland Gift, after he left, he was got involved in a lot of stuff. He got more into record producing. He did. He was uh, doing other song and backup work on a number of albums. He kind of like took a step back from being a front man. I'm not sure if he really enjoyed being the front man all the time. And I and I read where he was married up until 2019. His wife passed away. So oh, that's wow. kind of yeah. sad, you know. He's only he's Londo's age, so he's <laughs> early sixty. He's a, he's a good looking man, you know. I mean, you know, he's got he's bald now, and but he's got a very distinguished look. And I tell you, I've seen him at a number of these rewind festivals. The first time I saw Fine Young Cannibals was on Saturday Night Live. They were one of the guest acts on Saturday Night Live, and I tell you, they blew me away when I first heard. Especially, she drives me crazy because that is such a so. Catchy let song. us know if you were these guys on your regular playlist in those days. Did you ever see them in concert? Give us comments on are there other songs you really dug about them, and uh, get mad at Nick for not really knowing much about them. <laughs> Anyway, well, I think we're pretty much going to bring it to a close, but this is our first video. I hope you enjoyed Orlando's presence here. He added so much to the show, didn't he? I wish we could do more of it with him. We've always wanted to, and he's finally here doing well, it. Now, he, I mean, he, he came you know, 1,800 miles. How far is it? Yeah, it's a long oh. way. But, but he was still here when we started the channel. He didn't really want to do much with us at first. So, uh, I, but I'm glad he, he decided to step and up and do it. And it's funny because he worked at a radio station for many, many years. So, he, you know, here you go. Go figure. Yeah, yeah, I got a face for radio. <laughs> <laughs> Can you hear me now? <laughs> hey, let's do like they do at the end of all the great movies and stuff where we just all kind of go like this. Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> anyway, from Nick, Narc, and Londo, Happy we are year. saying thanks for joining Happy us for New another year. episode of Great Music. Happy New Year. And be sure to watch our next episode. We're going to do another one with Londo with some other cool stuff from the 80s. So and thanks for putting up with us in 2023. Day. Yeah, absolutely. Looking forward to another great year with you from Nick, Narf and Londo. Peace out. Ciao, Bambini. Ciao. Bye-bye.